I'm not sure what to title this video in order to find the people that want the answers to the thing that I'm making the video on without accidentally drawing in the wrong people and confusing them while using the words. So, look, I'll just, I'm trying to fix this, this thing here. You see how you can't really hear me that well because of the music? When, 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 we, try, when we try to put voices over music, that's, that's what we're trying to fix. If that's, if you got here by, by clicking on a title that wasn't the right title, well, we'll just call it an April Fool's joke, I guess, because that's popular on YouTube, right? April Fool's joke? Look, I'll just, I'll just show you how to fix it. Let's get undone. What is happening everybody? I'm Gerald Undone and today I'm going to show you how to get your vocals to pop over top of your background music where you can still get a good sense of the background music to allow you to kind of like bring it in and out through your b-roll, through your cutaways and also make your vocals still sound nice and clear and, and not interfere with each other. Get a, get, get a good marriage going between those two. So you only really need three things to do this. The first one obviously is footage or audio of you speaking. The second one is a music track that you like. So I've got one here that I found called Voyage. And then uh, editor, like Premiere Pro. All right, so we got a clip here of some donkey talking about things on the internet using a static image. Now you can do this with pretty much anything. You could just, all right, sounds good. There's no uh, effects of processing done to the audio right now. And then let's pull in our music. We're gonna do this really roughly. So this is a part here where the music is quite loud. And uh, we'll just play those two things together and we'll see how it gets drowned out. I'm gonna put my headphones on for this so that I can get a better sense of what I'm talking about. Pop open the paint here if you wanna just write something like this. So that's completely indiscernible. And that's obviously what we're trying to avoid. Now the natural inclination here would be to just lower the volume of the background track, which works. If we right click on it and choose audio gain, we can set the, we can normalize the max peak to like, I don't know, minus 15 let's say. With, and then we'll set our, the audio gain of our talking part to say minus five. And then if we play those two things together, let's have a listen to that. Okay, method one, the easy method, using a static image. Now you can do this with pretty much anything. You can just pop open paint. So there's a lot more separation. But the real issue here is do you see how some of the frequencies from the music and some of the frequencies from my voice are kind of overlapping? And so you lose that that pop that we were talking about. There's kind of a kind of a, a mid-ground that's just been muddied up pretty badly. So what we're gonna do to fix this is we're going to use an equalizer. Specifically in Premiere Pro, we're gonna use the one called the Simple Parametric Equalizer. Just type that into your search bar here and you'll see simple parametric EQ under audio effects. Drag that and put it on the clip for the music. And then you'll see that you have a few options here. You have the center point, which is the point that the that the dip will occur. The Q width, which is sort of how widespread the dip will be. Remember how we talked about this in one of my previous audio videos? I'll put a link in the description or in the comments or both if you wanna follow up on that. But basically we talked about the, the parametric equalizer where we could lower different frequencies to sort of improve our sound. And uh, we, we wanted to you know cut certain sounds narrowly and boost certain sounds widely. Well, that's the width thing. So it's sort of, it's the roll off of the sound. And then the boost is going to be how we're going to affect that sound, whether we're gonna raise it or lower it. So in this case, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to set the center point to 1250. This is a pretty good frequency range. When we set the Q to four, this will give us a, a good spot for the dip that uh, covers quite a bit of the vocal part that will usually be muddied up by music. So we can just do it as like a one setting, set it and forget it kind of idea. And then we'll set the boost down to minus 18. So that means anything that's in that frequency range is gonna get slowly and gradually dipped down to minus 18 decibels right at the center point of 1250. And this should cut out a nice chunk of the sound while still leaving some of the bass to drive it and a little bit of the treble, but not have as much muddied vocals. And that's all you gotta do. And then you can save this as a preset by just right clicking on it and choosing save preset and then type in something that, that will be familiar to you. You could type in like music dip for voiceover or something like that and you press OK and now you have that preset saved. And now anytime you're getting to a music track and you want to bring your voice back over top of it, just drop that on. Now you're gonna to wanna to use it only in the certain sections because it does affect the audio quite a bit. I'll show you what it sounds like with it on and off so you can hear the difference without any vocal parts. All right, so right here in the song, we're gonna cut two pieces. This one here is gonna, both of these are gonna be at normal volume. So we're gonna set those back. We'll put them at minus six. And the second clip is gonna have our music dip for voice and the first clip is not. Let's go ahead and listen to the two of those back to back.
So pretty easy to hear what's going on there. It just makes a nice little groove there for your voice to sit inside. So when you have a clip that say you want to come in and out, you're going to do it the same kind of way. So let's, uh, let's get rid of this junk and we'll move the uh, audio down here. And let's suggest that we were going to play an intro here and then right around when I start talking, that's when we're going to want to have the, have the music dip well. So during this section here, we'll, we'll cut before and after, we'll make a section and we'll put the music dip for voice in there. So now we're going to want to mess with the levels a little bit. You're going to want your voice to come in around minus 4 or minus 3 dB and the music, you're going to want to bring that down. But it kind of depends on your voice what kind of music you're using, is it really loud, is it kind of soft music, but I think you can go anywhere, if you set, even if you just normalize the max peak to say anywhere from minus 15 to minus 21, somewhere in there is going to be a good, a good spot for you. So we're going to set the before and after music, just to make sure we're set up here, we're going to set that to minus 6, and we're going to set the music in between when I'm talking to, let's do minus 18. Uh, I like that one. And then on the clip in the middle here, we have our music dip for voice and on the clips on the outside we shall not have that and if you want to make it sound nice and smooth you can also as I explained in the previous video use something like constant power and just put a constant power band-aid if you will at the beginning and the end overlapping the two clips that way we'll ease into it and not okay and let's just sort of watch this clip with the music like that now okay method one the easy method using a static image now you can do this with and we'll cut to the way that it plays out. We'll save this image as... And then let's just check the vocals one more time for clarity. Save this out and load it into the editor. I'll show you how to do that because we'll build off of it from there. So as you can see, it's really easy to hear the vocals. They come in clearly over top of the music, but the music doesn't lose any of its flow so that when we go from, like I said, different cutaways or B-roll, we get, you know, a nice pronounced thing. The constant power brings it down into that music dip that we made. We play across that, then we blend back up. And we don't have any of those jarring sound effects where all of a sudden the music's really loud or really quiet, or the music's too loud when the person's talking, or where the music's too quiet when the person's talking so that when it comes back in, you kind of forgot that there was even music playing and all of a sudden there's music. I mean, that can work if you really want an impact. But if you want the whole piece to kind of have like a similar theme and to kind of ha let the music sort of flow and drive it throughout, this is probably the easiest and one of the best ways to do it. And it's just a simple, simple, it's actually a simple equalizer, that's what it's called, simple parametric equalizer. Just save yourself a preset, 1250 for the frequency range, a Q of 4, minus 18 dB, that should be enough to get the job done. If you find that your voice is really on one side or another of that, you can adjust the frequency, maybe go to 1000, maybe go to 1500, and try to find the pocket that best suits your voice, but that's it, it's just one number adjustment, it's not a complicated EQ or anything like that. Use some constant powers to blend it in, and then get your levels right. For your music, you might need minus 15, minus 18, minus 21. Save it as a preset and keep it as a useful tool in your editor. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. If you did, make sure you leave it a like and go ahead and share it with somebody else who you think might also find it helpful. But if you did not find it useful or entertaining, feel free to hit the dislike button twice. All right. I'm done.